how's everyone doing hope you're having an amazing week an amazing day we are finally back we are finally back it's been like i think two years since bridgeting season two was released yeah i don't know how they're going to top season two season two was so amazing you know following kate and anthony it was incredible and you know i'm a big sucker of that enemy to lovers trope so they ate with that troop down. So I don't know how they're going to top this season. But one thing I know for a fact is for every TV show, season three is always the best. When you think about like Vampire Diaries, Game of Thrones, there's so many shows that season three is always peak. So I have faith that this season is going to be incredible. So without wasting any time, I'm going to watch Bridges season three now. I just hope that we will not get any um story from Queen Charlotte that has to do with this one. Because I haven't finished Queen Charlotte yet. I have two episodes left. The problem is that those two episodes are very long. So it's either I might react to it or I might watch it on my own before part two of Bridgerton season three comes out. Because I need to finish Queen Charlotte. So don't be upset if I don't react to Queen Charlotte because I know it came out like last year and nobody might be interested in seeing me react to it. And I know I have to finish it. So I might either watch it on my own before the part two of Bridgerton comes out because this season three is divided into two parts part one just came out then part two will be i think june so i might either react to queen charlotte before part two comes out or i'll watch it on my own because my mind tells me that there might be some similarities with there might be a story that has to do with queen charlotte that uh, that will point down to this season if that makes sense so we have the same time so this is we're focusing on penelope and colin i'm not the biggest fan of colin i'm not the biggest fan He's just, he's mid. I don't know, but we'll see. I actually do like Penelope. People don't like her because she's problematic and all, but I really do like Penelope. But I'm not the biggest fan of Colin. But what's it about Shonda Rhimes? She knows how to make us like a character we don't really, we, we never really cared for. Like Anthony, the first season, we did care for Anthony, but now everyone's like, Kate and Anthony, Kate and Anthony. And I hope we get to see more of Kate and Anthony this season. And I'm so upset that they just show up their wedding. And I'm talking a lot. So it's always a time. This is Bridget season two. Season three. This is Bridget season three. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, please. Thank you so much. Also, I might edit this very heavily because copyright is insane nowadays. Like, I might, I will have, not might, I will have to edit this heavily. I can't show lots of scenes because copyright has been on my, on my, on my. Ooh! So please bear with me and without wasting any time this is Bridgeton season three so let's go. Wow that was nice the logo that was that was nice that was nice I've missed the show man I've missed it bees anytime I see B I just think of Kate and Anthony when the bill almost stung her and I was like don't move don't move she's like my prince I'm unharmed that was amazing dearest gentle reader we're back we have been apart for far too long we have well, yes. London's fashionable set has made its return. Oh, she looks good. It's good to be her. Yes, it certainly is. That's right. She looks so good. The minted debutante will shine the brightest. Yellow is her color. Yeah. Here is Miss Barrigan. Certainly stands out in a crowd. <sighs> she wrote my name. <laughs> okay. As though your business is thriving, as is yours. Oh, she knows she's she's um Lady Whistleton. She knows. So everyone loves her writing. She's eating. There is another Bridgerton making her debut. Be Benedict. I can't wait for Benedict's story. I'm sure that she is well enough. Oh, as you were last year. This is not last year. So it's yeah, sister's time. We're not ready. <gasps> is there anything we can do? <gasps> Girl, no. Whoever's playing. Yes! Oh my god, oh, my faves! That's right. That's not in fact. They look so good. They look so good. Francesca. Francesca. She's so beautiful. I woke up early, got dressed, took breakfast in the garden. Perhaps we do not need to worry so much. Anthony. Ah, calm down. I wish they sh I wish they showed us their wedding though. Kate and Anthony's wedding. Because come on. I know that wedding would have eaten bad. Which gentleman will reveal himself as the prize of the season? So it's Colin, obviously. They're no longer friends. They've spotted a side of beef. Uh oh. Okay. Is this co Is this Colin? Why does it look good? Uh, so the beef that's the, the whole. Is that? Your brother? Colin? Why 
Let us call him look good. Oh, Shada rhymes. She knows how to make them glow up. She knows. <laughs> oh. Go and get your man's girl. But what he said, he said he could never date um, Penelope. You must tell us all about your adventures. Yes. When you returned last season. Wait, hold on. This can't be calling. I shall not bore you with detail. I must know. Who are you? I'm you sure. With our brother? I need to know. Miss Anne Hartigan. <sighs> Queen Charlotte. She always eats every time. Her hair always eats. Her looks amazing. She's bored. <laughs> Can I fetch your refreshment, Your Majesty? Perhaps a casket. Not a casket. She's so funny. I suppose entering society means I might meet someone. Be pleasant to have my own house. That's right. She looks a lot like Daffy. Lady Bridgerton. Every year, they always have someone. Every year. My gosh, she looks so much like Daffy. It's crazy. You have had good luck with Bridgertons. Yeah, every year, there's always a Bridgerton. Oh my god, my faves. I need to see more of them. I don't care if this is not that season. I need to see more of Kate and Anthony. Ooh. She's not impressed. I'm not gagging. Oh. All the girls want him. I would wed you a second time. As many as it takes to make you happy. <laughs> okay. Opportunity is money in the process, Mr. Dankworth. All the semantics about is money, money, money. That's right. She's truly Chris Jenner. Will anyone really believe that a spinster would have a fortune to leave to you? Oh. She could have been hiding jars of coin under her floor. Okay. So they're money knowledge, it's, I can't remember. It's been like two years. They do seem rather preoccupied. Them, they all want Colin. If you're asking if I came back to take a wife, answer me disappoint. Oh. There is one thing I learned on my travel. It is forever to expect the unexpected. So why did you come back if you did not come to get a wife? But might change his mind. <laughs> oh. They've still not spoken. Them. Yikes. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ooh. And I feel I don't know best is. Go and get some lemonade. It's a splendid idea. Oh, Nana Best is Eloise, come on. It's not congenial to be back from the country. Oh, this is sad. The season will be all the better now, having you by my side. Damn, nobody wants to be with Penelope. Oh, I don't like this for my girl. I don't like this, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, she made one mistake, and, and. Be someone who gives me butterflies, just by looking at him. Damn, she's stunning. Someone kind, I suppose. And wealthy. One week returned from honeymoon and already my son has left you to fend for yourself. She's a true Disney princess, guys. She seems rather composed, does she? Mm -hmm. I am eager to see how she will fare. She got this. And Eloise? I do not understand this new friendship. Yeah, I'm confused. I mean, obviously, uh, um, Penelope messed up by Billy the visiting. But that doesn't mean you should, you, should, you should turn your back on her. Come on. She's your best friend. Lady Bridgerton. Lady Danbury always serves cowboy Carter. With her cowboy hat every time. She's the true cowboy Danbury. <laughs> After her instincts went astray last season, all worked out in the end. Yup. Last season was chaotic. Such an array of beautiful ladies. <laughs> Men will be fighting over you. Is it? Ooh! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Is it true? Ooh! The last Lord Featherington wrote a document bequeathing the estate to my girls. Did he? As one of them produces an heir. Did he? Yeah, did he? I can't remember. It is good to see you. Oh, please. Is it? Oh, is it? You look distinguished, but then again, you always have. No, he looks better now than before, by far. Am I mistaken? Or was Eloise walking arm in arm with Cressida Cow? <laughs> Everyone is worried. Everyone is worried about that. One of us would simply be the heir's mama. Do you think you're part of this race? With what husband? Don't underestimate her. Don't underestimate Penelope. How dare you? I take comfort in knowing that you will always be here to take care of me. That is not... Oh, that's not... In the sense that... Uh-uh. That means she knows I'm not going to get married. <laughs> what is she talking about, Colin? I do not wish to see a citrus colour ever. But what has brought about this sudden... Uh, yellow is a colour. It's been hard enough living under my mother's rules, but my sister's... Yeah, they're insufferable. You must take a husband before that happens. Someone kind. Is Colin kind? Okay, sort of, kind of. Something like what they're wearing in Paris. My perfume is from Paris. Oh, did, did, did she say something that they wear in Paris so that she'll be able to... Entice Colin because Colin is just coming from Paris, right? I think so. I, I know your game. I know your game, Penelope. Let's go. Let's go. I have something for you. 
Oh, I'm right. in the middle of reading something. It is called Emma. Oh, Emma. I need to watch that movie, by the way. This book has humour and truth. Pains of friendship. She has really changed. Cressida surprised me. She showed me kindness. No one else would. And what of Penelope? What's the tea? We've simply grown apart. There's nothing more heartbreaking than friendship, you know, growing apart. It's very heartbreaking. No appetite for the war, so I've joined the winning side. Not unlike mm. you. There's nothing more heartbreaking than friendship, you know, breaking up. I know people are talking about, you know, breaking up with... Like couples breaking up, but have you ever been in a situation where your best friend, you guys grew apart? It's the worst. We don't talk about it enough. We don't. Y'all cannot keep doing this. I've been hoping we would meet. I avoided society because I did not know if you'd want to see me. That's sad, man. Because you were worried I might reveal your secret. Louise, I'm so sorry. If I don't think she'll forgive her. What you did? Or because I discovered it was you who wrote such damning things. That was, that was bad. I have kept your secret because I do not wish to keep revisiting the past. Damn. Cressida, are you really friends with her? I wish she very well. You guys even have anything to come on. You and Crescenda, what's her name? Crescenda. Come on. F F Eloise, I don't like this, but I understand where she's coming from. Penelope wrote bad things about her. So it's... But then again, I don't know. I'm quite certain Mother has a list of young ladies she could offer you. Brother. I can't wait for Benedict's story. I can't wait. Benedict is bi. B I Kent, yes. Very cold lady. She's so colder fine. now. Oh, she's dead? Oh, she's died. Okay. <laughs> she passed away? She has left your son Nicholas everything. Nicholas shall be the next Baron of Kent. That is crazy. Perhaps we might need drinks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they look so good. Both of them. Mwah. Shoda Ryan said, if you are not pretty, you're not getting casted for my show. <laughs> oh, this is giving me everything I wanted. More of Kate and Anthony. Let's go. Their hands. Their hands. Ignore them. I cannot. What's happening out there? Here's importance. What's happening down there? Oh, you're nasty. You're nasty. Tonight is Lady Danbury's ball. I must make a good impression. Ah, Anthony. Oh, it's hot in here. God, that's so fine. I didn't even know both of them. I should like to try something a little different tonight. Okay, it is rebranding. Okay, diamonds. Okay. We failed to collect your clone. Okay, the head's giving. Oh, rebranded. Rebranded. Everyone is shook. She's stunning. I'm staring at us. Jealousy. Not around. which us. Nope. Penelope. It's Penelope, not you. It is not us. They stare at. That's right. Nah, Penelope is gorgeous. She said rebranded. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, everyone wants her. Pleasure to see you. What a my striking girl. gown you have on. My girl. You, you as well, my lord. Uh, <laughs> not, not the gown part, obviously. <laughs> that was funny. See you all in your proper evening dress, not at all gown like. Girl, control it. Oh. I, yeah, I like to read. My mom's always telling me to put my books down. Girl, you're talking too much. There's anything wrong with reading, of course. She's messing it up. She's messing it up. Control it, control it, control it. Perhaps we should take our leave, lest we would if Lady Whistle down something to write about. You're talking to the Lady Whistle down. <laughs> and they have no clue. <laughs> Who is she? Is Miss Penelope Featherington. She's interested in her, that's right. There is some anxiety amongst the mamas that you have not yet selected a diamond. Why is she? She's not impressed for some reason. I play the pianoforte. That is magnificent. That's right. Who are you besides your hobbies? What do you desire? What makes you tick? Okay, this is not an interview. Calm down. My brother needs me, if you would excuse me. They turn into a job interview, like, calm down. <laughs> Am I blushing? There's nothing about them. I should like to use that moment to dance with my beautiful wife. Heavy on the wife. Heavy on the wife. Period. No, for real. I wish they showed us that wedding. Because I know that wedding would have been so beautiful. I did not expect to be inspected as if I were rare insect. I'm like, is this a soft job interview? I am different from my siblings as well. Very different. She's smart. You really ought to take to the floor again. It's difficult to come off the wall once you are on it. Okay. Are you well, Miss Featherington? Yes, forgive me. Oh, who is this? And why it's do I have good. the feeling that you know how to make one wither if you so choose? Oh, okay. 
Okay, it's good. Excuse me, I am right. Oh! Oh! This. Oh! My deepest apologies. Miss Featherington, I shall find a maid to help you. This girl is so wicked. I can't believe Eloise is being friends with her. Come on. Perhaps if you had not bought such cheap fabric. She's so wicked. Pen, I'm, I'm so sorry. Eloise, please, you can't be friends with her. I'm like. Pen. She did not look well. Go and meet her. Call him. Be a gentleman and go and meet her. Something wrong. Pen. Between us, I mean. Yes, everything is wrong. She overheard what you said. If you are going to make me say it out loud, I miss you. But that's sweet. <laughs> you miss me, but you had never caught me, is that correct? She heard what you said. I overheard you. Telling everyone how you would never, ever caught Penelope. So nasty and so rude. Of course you would never caught me. I am the laughing stock of the town even when I changed my entire wardrobe. That's so sad. It occurred to me that you of all people could be so cruel. Whack him good. Whack him for me. Oh, now she's writing. Let's go. Let's go, gossip girl. Colin Bridgerton. What did she say about Colin? He signed granting the estate to one of your daughters once she produces heir. Did he do this though? I can't remember. I don't think he did that. Are any of your daughters with child? Oh, I do hope to receive the news. Are you sure? I don't think it's, it's not okay good. It would be quite a task transferring the estate to another family. What other family? I thought we did not like Penelope. What you did was cruel. Draga. Draga. It's been more difficult still to find a friend. I don't know why. Have you checked your attitude? But the season has a way of coming between young ladies, pitting us against one another. Mm, that's true. I noticed it. I said it right from season two. They always make the girls compete for, with each other just to get one man. And the man always just the bare minimum. Why do women have to, you know, be the best at everything? No, not here. How are your meetings? Not moving as good as our bed. Ah, it's so horny. Should we return to it? Ah, mm. like, come on. Be mindful of why you're invited to be the vice contest. <laughs> so why not put ourselves first for one? Your hands. Your hands. Let's go, your hands. <laughs> oh my god, not here, come on. Be mindful of why you're the vice contest. <laughs> I'm not frightened of the balls, Mama. That's right. What you and Father and Anthony will have is enviable. It is also rare. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very, very rare. You will at least be open if love comes your way. Let us see what happens. Exactly. That's the way love goes. I'm sorry for intruding. No, it's fine. Intrude. It's all right. I'm not the man I was last season. You have changed totally. I seek you out at every social assembly because I know you will lift my spirit. But the annoying thing is that you make her look like your friend. She doesn't want to be friend zoned. I am proud to call you my very good friend. Look, she doesn't want that. I pray I might finally feel that way amidst the marriage mart. That's so sad, man. That's sad. If your husband is what you seek, let me help you. How would you? And what I have learned is that charm can be taught. So why is teaching her not fall in love with her, right? Is you it you? to shake your hand. Are we not friends? So this will be from friends to lovers trope. Okay. We can make it work. We can make it work. What? Don't fall in love. That's right. She'll see you soon. Let's go. So this is from friends to lovers trope. I'm not really a big fan of friends to lovers. I'm more of enemies to lovers, but what works works. Dearest gentle. What? Welcome to your new home. I'm not going to cry. Period. Who has still yet to choose a diamond is a symptom of fear. Oh, not the gilly. Okay, <laughs> I love it. This lady Whistledown is playing games again. She's back. Huh? Whistledown has a good deal to say about you, precious Bridgertons. Colin. Yeah, what did she say about Colin? There are some who take the embrace of change and a step reading. too far. And Louis is reading it. What are you reading? Nothing. Oh, that means she wrote something nasty. As with Mr. Colin, braced a new personality. Yikes. Is this new character the real him? Simply Whoa. a ploy for attention. No for attention. Oh my God. She whacked him. She whacked him good. I do not care what Lady Whistledown writes about me. I'm nearly ruining you. I will never forgive her. The plot twist. Do you have any idea who she might be? <laughs> if I ever find out, I'll make sure it is her life that Stop. is ruined. And that's the person that he wants to help. That's the person he wants to help. That's the person he wants to help. Let's go, episode two. This is crazy. So now it's out to get Lady Wilson Town. Meanwhile, that's the person that he wants to assist, but he has no clue. This is crazy. Let's go. I've not seen nearly enough from this year's girls. So the girls are not doing it for you? I shall simply choose someone who sparkles. 
<laughs> the sparkles. <laughs> and then whistle down will be reminded it is she who should be afraid. The plot twist when she picks Penelope. And she doesn't know it's Lady Whistle Town. Through that door is the East Wing. Damn. They own all of this. That's wild. Bed chamber, Mrs. Mondrich. Just opposite Mr. Mondrich. Separate rooms. <laughs> you guys are wealthy. The Kent estate has gone to the son of a boxer. One of the girls will make good. Are you sure? It doesn't look like it's. Oh, God. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Eloise will not like this. She might ruin it. She might ruin what's going to happen between Colin and Penelope. Because she knows that Penelope is Lady Whistledown. So you want my help after what Lady Whistledown, right? <laughs> She's never been more wrong about anyone. Girl, you're the one that wrote it. I should like to see your skills as they are first. But I have none. Well, you're not right. How delightful to see you all. This Calm down. Weather we oh my god. I'm embarrassed for her. You seem discomposed. I'm embarrassed for her. Tell me when I can learn. Is Ralph handsome and a lover of music? Perhaps a good match for Francesca. Girl, not everybody who has to be a match for Francesca. Like, oh. Majesty still seeking her diamond. The way they're gossiping, my goodness. <laughs> Shall I take your fatigue as a good sign? You've been engaging in the activities. She wants an hair so bad. Albion and I are very passionate. Okay, if you say so, she wants a grandson so bad. How often? Uh, once. On our wedding night. What? <laughs> you must be familiar with each other often. It flattens my hair. So much, she's, she's so unserious. I, I like her. She's so unserious. No, two girls at the same time. I thought it's a... Oh? Did I say it? Same time tomorrow. Perhaps. Ho. Oh. I would not be angry if you found me to be a lost cause. The truth is, you do not need a lesson. The thing is that you can't teach somebody to have reese. You either have reese or you don't. You do not need to be taught. You already know how to do this. Yeah, she does. She does, actually. From her writing alone, you can tell that she actually has reese. Living for the estimation of others is a trap. You make it sound so easy. But I don't think it's that easy. You cannot not just care about what people think. People will say, don't care about what other people think, but it's not easy. What is the one thing in the world that makes you feel most comfortable? Writing. There used to be Sunday teas at Bridgerton House. I'm sorry about whatever might be coming between you and Eloise. What exactly happened? Oh, shh. She can't spill. I should get back. <laughs> I, wonder what to, I wonder how he's going to handle it, knowing that he, she is Lady Wizard Town. I don't know how he's going to handle it, because he says when, the, when he finds who she is, will be on site. I like how they're showing us the side characters. That's good. Lovely French blue satin. <laughs> so this is all they do. They just come here, they either go for a ball, and then they come here, they buy more materials, more dress. That's literally all they do in this town. Lady Danbury says the Queen only waits to be dazzled. Okay. So who will be the one to, you know, make her, you know, be dazzled? I've been eagerly awaiting your visit. Perhaps it would be better for me to meet you at the market instead of coming here. She doesn't want Eloise to see her. We're going to the Bridgerton drawing room. Uh, but why? She doesn't want Eloise to see her. I mentioned you were comfortable at Bridgerton House. We're going to practice here. He's a nice guy. Colin is very nice. We can pretend we're at a ball. Okay. Have you gone mad? <laughs> no, have you gone mad? Shall I pretend to flirt with the imaginary jealous? No, me. Oh, okay. I'm the perfect person to practice on. Exactly why I will feel even more embarrassed because I know you. Yeah, and she actually has feelings for you down. I find myself saying the wrong thing or more likely nothing at all. She starts rumbling. She's just like me. She's just like me. Like saying everything all at once at the same time. If I were a suitor, without concerning yourself with how I might receive it. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's a good tutor. The eyes. Your eyes. The eyes. That's what I said. The most remarkable shade of blue. Oh, she's good. Somehow they shine even brighter when you are kind. This girl got Reese. I, I might say something Look, like that. Look, he's falling. Like he's falling. He's falling for her. We ah! love America. She well, ate that. that was, she uh, ate that. Direct. She ate that. Eloise is here. You can hide the study. Uh oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Somebody might catch her though. The Paris is some of the most beautiful women in the world. She's reading his journal. My fingers trace freckles from cheek to collarbone. Them is good. 
how one can feel such intimacy, but also... Oh, it's getting hot. Ooh. Are you reading that? No, I, I... Yes! It's getting hot! I, I did, but I should not have. Whatever you read was not meant for another's eye. Okay, don't get angry, come on. Ooh. Don't get angry, she didn't mean it. Damn! It's cold in your hand! It is nothing. It's not nothing, stay there. A lot is happening. Please. Show the, show the hands. It's from the hands we'll know if they have chemistry. Let's see. Show us the hands. Yeah. He's falling for her. But the problem is that he's a whore. Do you understand? The hands. The hands, Chico. They never lie. Your writing is very good. It's good. Both of them are good at writing. Just that one is the shade room. Eloise! Oh no! I won't lie though, Eloise is a good friend. She's still keeping the secret regardless of anything. Perhaps simplicity is better? Would you not like to at least see? Girl, come on. Look at the jewelries. You can't be wealthy and act like, oh, I need to be modest. No! We may Girl. have had different taste in garments. Aha, uh -huh, but not jewelries. Lady Kent certainly had an eye for jewels. Period! Period! Penelope was at our house today. Oh no. Difficult to know how to act when Stella do not know what happened between the two of you. She's also to let him know. Because if she tells him... I do not wish for her to be friendless and you might be all she has now. Eloise is a good friend though, she is. She's still keeping her secret regardless. How is she? Penelope. I mean, they only want to make sure she is not suffering. Oh, She still cares for her. To take her husband this season. <laughs> her husband. Why are you shocked? <laughs> She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. That's how you fall in love. You're an eligible yeah. suitor. Perhaps the most eligible right now, strangely. <laughs> not strangely. Yeah, everyone wants Colin. Everyone. Finally, they seem to be putting in some work. <laughs> After how many, how many um, days? Perhaps a little too much. <laughs> yes, she can't get up. <laughs> Mr. Bridgerton? Ladies! And more ladies! <laughs> no, and more ladies! How's your hand? Much better. What? I'll be smiling since I tell her what you're Bridgerton. You truly write so well. You make it seem effortless. They have that in common, both of them. Him. Basilia is a Viscount. And you are Penelope Featherington. Period. I did not see you there. I cultivate reserve these days. Life is too short for that, is it not? Okay. She's getting it. Why is he crying? What's the problem? What happened? His horse recently died. What did lose? <laughs> Loda! Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Loda! Seems Colin is helping her look for a husband. Why would you tell her? And that's rather scandalous of your brother. Why would you tell her, girl? Come on. You both look superb. <laughs> they you look so be good. intimidated. That's so stunning, both of them. Once you have performed your function, found your match, you are free. They're meant for each other. Him and his wife. Soulmates. Mm -hmm. Lately, I have been enjoying Reese. His piano trios are quite beautiful. Damn, she loves music. Expressive music. <laughs> the mother is so worried. <laughs> A mother in her natural <laughs> sphere. She's so worried. Like, calm down, your daughter got this. The best thing you can do is to let her be. Exactly, don't like let it be. Let it be. She got this. Did you too? Oh, I did not enjoy it. Why? She doesn't like him at all. When he inserts himself. <laughs> not, uh, uh, inserts himself where? Okay, where else? <laughs> what on earth do you what and Mr. Finch do? What have they been doing? And then he makes an odd sound and then he goes to change his britches. Oh my god! Britches remain on. Of course. What the fuck? Oh, the funny thing. Their family is the funniest. I need to see more of that story. Have you seen <laughs> Gerard painting in the back room? What painting is that? Okay, let's see. Does anyone at least have any good gossip? I cannot think of anything at the moment. Okay, yeah. Shush. I do not much care for idle gossip. Uh, are you sure? I love a bit of gossip. Whistledown has delivered. I won't read it as soon as it arrives. As it lady with town. Admit I do quite enjoy Whistledown. Cause you are the one. Yeah, that's your soulmate right there. Both of you love gossip. Lord Remington has asked to call on me tomorrow. That is excellent. Period. I'd enjoy myself. 
very much. He likes her already. His father in terms of his help. Yes, he will, I think. The way gossip spreads in this town. Such as yourself oh, no. would help oh, a no. spinster find a husband. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I cannot wait to know what Lady Whistledown will write about this. Shut up your mouth, she won't write it. Did you tell anyone of my helping Penelope? I, damn, I confided damn. in Cressida. Yeah, of all people! What could Penelope possibly what? have done to warrant such maltreatment? You don't want to know. You don't want to know what she did. But she have never told that girl, Francesca, what happened. Not Francesca, Crescenda. <laughs> she never told her what your brother is doing because the girl has a big mouth. Damn, Francesca is so talented. So she did it so that she'll come and let her to, let her play the piano. Period. That was splendid. You ate, you ate. Someone who performs not for me, but for themselves. Period. She ate that. She did. Mm hmm mm hmm Sparkling. She's a diamond. She's a diamond. She's a diamond. She's a diamond. <laughs> That's right. I will sleep here with my beautiful wife. Period. Somehow afraid I will do something wrong and they will take it all away. Oh yeah, I can understand. Because it still doesn't feel real. But it is ours. So let us enjoy it. Enjoy it. No more old lady Kent clothes. <laughs> exactly. Away with clothes. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> I am keeping all the jewellery. There you go. That's right, God, that's so hot, my gosh. So the rhyme said, if you're ugly, you're not coming on my set. <laughs> Good evening, Lady Danbury. A letter for you, ma'am. Lady Danbury stays smoking, like... Alert, Mrs. Welsh, we shall be having a visitor. Who is that? Communicating the secret I told you in confidence. Can you really just not help being cruel? Damn. I did not communicate your secret. I just remember she didn't actually. Oh my god, Chrisetta, I'm sorry. She didn't. It was that girl that listened to what I say, the girl that wore purple. Yeah, I just remembered. They did notice Miss Livingston whispering around the room. Yeah, it's, yep, it's that girl that wore purple. If you were more decided about your former friendship, you would not have felt the need to gossip. Ooh, damn. I do appreciate your concern about cruelty, but perhaps you should like to find a looking glass. Woo! What how good? Tell me it is not true. How could you be so reckless? Then Penelope really spilled her own tea. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, she had to write about the situation because if she didn't, it would be clear that she laid the wheel sitting. Not that you earnestly believed you might find a husband in your third year. Why would you say this to your daughter, Chris Jenner? You have a visitor. I hope it's Colin. I hope it's Colin. I had to see how you were. Fred was down. She's beastly to write such things about you. <laughs> She's the one that wrote it, obviously. It would have been suspicious if she had not. Exactly. If she didn't write it, they will know that she's the one that little puts it down. stupid girl who believes she might possibly have a chance of love. Must... Girl, stop being so sports negative. Could I ask you something? Of course. Do you love me? <laughs> would, would you kiss me? Oh! I could die tomorrow. You are not going to die tomorrow. But I could. Can you kiss her, yes or no? I do not wish to die without ever having been kissed. Oh girl, this is so sad and this is so sad. Please. Just beg him. So pick me. Choose me. Kiss me. Love me. Let's go. Come on, don't be slow. That's right. But I know Spark yet because you're not really genuine. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She's taking it and he's giving it. Good. Oh, she sucked like <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, she's taking it. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, Penelope. He loves her now. He has fallen in love. He has fallen in love. That's right. Damn. Oh, I want to watch episode three, but no, I'm not doing that now. No, 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 no. I want to watch episode 3 now, but no, nope, I'm not doing that now. We're going to watch episode 3 and 4 later. This is starting off good. I, I think this season is going to focus really on Eloise and Penelope's friendship. Because, obviously, I don't know what Eloise, Eloise is going to do. Because eventually, Colin and Penelope will fall in love. So it's either Eloise has to spill her secret that, look, she laid the to town just for her brother to be safe. Or she bottles it in, keeps it to herself, and allow her brother to marry 
Penelope, knowing fully well that she's Lady Wilson Town. So it's a very tricky situation. I don't know. But it's already clear that he's already in love with her. He's in love with Penelope, clearly. But the problem is that, he, and he, like he said, he's not yet to find a wife. He's still sleeping around and just call it what he is. He's a Ooh. So yeah, that's it, guys. What are your thoughts on this season? I like the fact that they got we got to see more of Kate and Anthony. But I think they said they're going on a honeymoon. So we might not see them for a while. So yeah, that's it, guys. What are your thoughts on this show? I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm going to react to episode 3 and 4 after. I still need to finish Queen Charlotte. I'll finish it very... I'll watch it. I'll either watch it on my own or react to it. But yeah, that's it, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe interact just comment let's you know interact with each other and i will see you for my next video reaction bye